Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings. This is next video, video number 26. And as I promised in the previous video, I'm going to bind these tiles with some data. And this is what I'm going to do that. We will achieve it by using uh, the function or expression called dlookup or dcount or dsum. It's a very handy function which we can uh, use to collect the information from uh, the database and populate onto uh, whatever we would, we would like to do that. And this is why uh, we are going to use the dlookup or dsum or dcount function to fetch the information from database and to populate onto these tiles. So it's very important video. If you want to learn about dlookup and, and dsum and dcount, this is the video you should be looking at. Okay. All right. But before I do that, if you uh, are new to my channel, welcome. And if you haven't, if you are returning back, welcome back. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you, that you do and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, fetch some data and populate onto these uh, little tiles. So first thing I would like you to do, if you have been following, this would be a label initially. So what you do is you convert that label into text box and it's very simple. You right click on the label and you get the drop down and you say change to and then you uh, convert that to, uh, sorry, text box because mine is already text box. So that's why it's not uh, showing that option. But if you are having a label here, then you will have text box option uh, visible so you can select that okay so make sure you get that you do and not only that you make sure to do the formatting of uh, the text box into a standard and decimal place is zero and that's very very important that you should do that now how do we fetch the information so what i would like to do i would like to see a number of students only active students now from where I will fetch the information? Well, I'll get the information from the students table. So this is the students table. Now in here, we can see that some students are active and some are not active. So, but I want only the information about the students that are active students. So that we are going to use uh, the D lookup, especially D count, because we are going to count the number of active students and uh, let's go ahead and do that so select the text box and i'll go in here i'll go to the data tab and basically we are going to look at the control source so i'll say equal d count okay and then expression expression mean it is asking hey what do you want me to count so i'll say uh, please count student ids column right so count in that column and it will ask, okay, a domain. Domain is basically a query or table from where it is asking from where I will get this information called student ID. And so we will give the reference of the table. So it says students T, that's the table. And now double quote. And now after comma, it is asking, do you have any criteria you want me to check? And in this situation, definitely we do have a criteria and that is called status. So we want only active students uh, to be counted and their information to be populated here. So criteria will give, we'll say double quote and we want status, not this. So status equals, okay. And then single quote, active, single quote, and then double quote, and then parenthesis close. So basically our expression is completed. Hopefully, fingers crossed that it works. Let's uh, test it out. So if this works, this is correct, we should be getting the information. How many active students we have? Let's see in our table, in our database before I uh, test our main form. So if I filter the status with active students, I'll click OK. We have nine active students, all right? So we have nine active students. So if our expression is correct, if D count will work, then it should show nine here on the tile. 
that's the indication that it's working so let's go to that let me close this table and form view there you go now it is showing active student so what will happen anytime we will add a student and uh, it should uh, add that here as well and if that student is active then it will count if that student is not active yet then it will not count the student active student here so that's how you you know you go and uh, you fetch the information so let's go and uh, fetch the information about classes subjects faculty and the financials so classes when it comes to classes um well we do have a table called classes so where it is here we go so we have three classes but every class has a section so yeah. not session section so for example you know green red yellow section or uh, section a b or section one to whatever the name of section but so you you either have a choice either you can show populate the number of sections or you can populate the number of classes like individual classes six seven eight nine ten whatever it is i would say uh, you can populate sections because technically speaking you have students uh, in each section so to me that would be more valuable information that how many sections we have for the classes that means you should change it to active sections well you can do that or you can keep it like it is it's up to you but i'll keep it uh, active classes so we'll select that and we will uh, go to the data tab and control source will say hey t count count again and this time we are asking to count the section id okay and exclamation mark sorry uh, the double quote comma domain which table or query you want me to check this for i'll say sash sections t so double quote sections t all right do you have any criteria for me to look at at the moment i'll say nope we don't have criteria we'll close the parenthesis and we'll test it out whether it works and there you go active classes four that means the sections are four okay as i said you can actually gather the information from the classes table or you can uh, choose to have from the sections table it's up to you you decide okay but i fetched it from the sections table all right now let's, let's you got the idea right how d lookup or d sum we'll use d sum as well in the last one but you got the idea how it works so i'll now speed up and i'll kind of fetch information for other styles as well so we'll go here data tab control source dot 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 you can you can do that and this time we'll say subject so we'll say uh, you know t count and we're looking for subject id and we are looking from the subjects t right subjects t hopefully that's the name and we'll close the parenthesis and click on okay. oops there's an error ah okay i have to close that all right so that's we have got it subjects t right do we have a <laughs> yeah and subject id correct all right faculty basically it's the staff members how many staff is there either you can include the supporting staff or you want to have only the faculty which means the teaching staff uh, that you can uh, you can actually uh, count so if we want to fetch that information we'll go to the employees table and in here you see designation right so we have this um, criteria where we can Put that criteria in and we can count that employee only so as as of now in the table you can see there is only one teacher and there is one supervisor so if you want to have full employees you can have active employees instead of active faculty but if you want to have only faculty information then yeah active faculty you can fetch it with the designation uh, that is assigned to each faculty all right now what i would like to do is i would like to fetch all the information i would like to say 
hey, it doesn't matter faculty, teaching staff or um, supporting staff, I would like to fetch all the information uh, of the active, uh, active uh, employees. At the moment you can see one employee is inactive and the other one is active. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, count that and we'll say equals the count. All right. Now this time we are looking for, uh, let's search from here, let's look at AMP ID. This, is, this time we are looking for that. So we'll come back again. So we'll say D count. Oh, come on, what happened? D, something happened. Okay. Take two. <laughs> D count. And we are going to count the employee IDs from employees T and the criteria again the status equals uh, active all right from C close and there you go now in here instead of faculty I'll say active employees all right that makes sense uh, because we are not only looking for faculty we are looking for active employees overall so let's close that let's uh, go to the form view you can see subjects to employees active employees one uh, why because there is one employee that is marked as inactive so if I'll just for the testing purpose I'll mark I'll change that to the active and now I'll uh, go back to form view and we can see that the active employees has been changed to two all right so this is how this information will keep updated all right then we will go to the financials so this information we can collect it from the uh, i think table uh, although there are queries as well but let's go with the table right so fee collection and in here we want to uh, sum the fee collected if uh, the a status is completed okay so that we would like to do that so I'll go to the form view property sheet and here I'll go to so let me look at this so let's say we want we are looking for uh, fee collected we want to sum it and the status that's the criteria and fee collection T that's the domain so we'll go to the data and we'll say control source T T not T count we want to do sum and this time we want fee collected okay that's the field name and comma domain is fee collection t all right that's the name of the table right hopefully that's correct uh, let's capitalize it and then comma the criteria would be uh, status status equals single quote completed single quote then double quote then parenthesis close and let's test it out if it works hopefully and there you go 28,680 that's the financials right now so let's go and uh, check it you know just to verify so we'll uh, choose the completed status and the fee collected let's do the sum here totals and come okay sum 28680 and what we get 28680 so that is actually matching absolutely fantastic all right that's it you know that's the beauty that's the beauty of the lookup the count the sum and I really like to have in my applications, you know, the summarized view, summarized uh, version of the information. This really helps to have a quick snapshot and it gives you information on what's going on. You can actually go further and you can put multiple criteria. You can have variables like, you know, you can have uh, combo boxes for year and month. So, you know, the moment you change the month and year, it will change the information based on what you're selected from the drop down you can have multiple things right you can play around with it um, if you want to learn about it 
for sure i'll sometime you know i need to start making videos for the members only which i definitely am i intend to do i will do that in the future near future in which i'm going to talk about you know how to create the modules module classes and how can you further um, shine in vba i'll just share as much as i know and but for some uh, some like modules and classes and uh, you know uh, having variables to collect or fetch the information i will do that for members only so uh, <laughs> if you want you can uh, join this channel uh, by clicking on join button i know in some countries uh, the join button doesn't appear maybe it's a youtube policy but uh, wherever if you have join button appears you can uh, join the channel to support me and support the channel thanks for the uh, for watching if you have learned something if you have liked whatever you've seen make sure that you subscribe and uh, hit the uh, bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video do let me know in the comments below how did you find this video? Thank you and I will see you in the next one.